massive earthquake just shifted and sank a Russian peninsula. This is shifting things in the territory, and we're going to be looking at what is shifting after this huge sinking of the Russian peninsula. And we're talking like right after this happened, when that quake hit, you know, you had this Russian volcano that after 500 years went and erupted. And this has caused a parade of volcanoes to start erupting following the 8.8 .8 earthquake. If you look on screen right here, you can see that this is data right here of other earthquakes that was messing with the volcanoes. And you can see that the ash start to spew from there. But more importantly, you can see how the plate is it started to sink after it sunk six feet. It started going to the right hand side over here and it's like kind of going towards the Pacific. So this is going to be something that's affecting a ring of fire. Also, we have something quietly being released here in America that you need to know about. And I'm going to give you the maps too. The scientists discovered that the North America is dripping down into Earth's mantle. Now you want to stick around because I'm going to show you this map. I'm going to tell you everything it means and what you can do. And there is ways that we can be a first warning system in certain signs you can listen for that we're going to get to with all these situations developing. Right after that Russian peninsula sank, uh, geophysicists right here uh, in Russia, they confirmed that it sank almost six feet. That is insane. Uh, but as that's happening, you have PBS releasing the next big earthquake could sink parts of the Pacific Northwest. And when I look at this, I'm saying this is not even the big thing right now to be looking at. And that's why today a lot of people are not paying attention to the information that we're going to be on the East Coast, on the West Coast, whether you're in the South, whether you're in Canada we're about to queue up all this information for you right now that you're not going to be getting other locations. So what's happening is these huge rocks are dropping off and in, down into Earth's mantle. The North American uh, is dripping from below. Geoscientists discovered this. Now, here's the interesting thing right here. We go into it. What makes the discovery of the catatonic dripping special, said the researchers, is that it's happening right now. This allows scientists to observe cratonic thinning. So with this, this is the foundation of everything. This is the foundation of America, the foundation of the ground and everything else that are all around us. So what we're going to do here is we're going to read you just a little bit more because the warning signs are here as the blue whales, they have eerily gone silent for the National Geographic. They're not singing like they used to sing anymore. And why does this matter? Because our entire ocean ecosystem relies on them singing it's a vital process is linked to environmental changes, marine heat waves and shifts in prey. We are in a really different shift in time. So that's why we need to get to this map right now, because I want to give you every sign that you need to look for. You need to subscribe right now if you're just tuning in and finding this channel, because we're going to get a lot of information to you. Now, let's get back into this. The dripping discovery came out of a larger project held by Wuwa who is now professor of University of Science and Technology in China that created a new full waveform seismic tomographic model for North America using an approach developed by co-author Stephen Grant. This was an earth scope project. Now let's get you right into this and I'm gonna announce this right now. So listen to me really closely right now. So these are the states that are in the zone. We got Texas, you can see in the lower side and some of the sides of the border. We got Alabama, we also got uh, northern Mississippi in these areas. We got Tennessee. We got Arkansas. We also have in other zones. And I'm going to tell you what the colors mean here in just a second. The blue is the drip zones. This is where it's dripping under the mantle. Kansas, Wisconsin, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, New York, Pennsylvania, California, Washington. Uh, these are all the areas right now that are in these regions. Now, what I is the blue area look at this area where you what you're looking at right there is the map of the mantle dripping low velocity shades are where the crust is thinner or affected by the dripping of the blobs into the mantle now if we take a look at those black lines where you're looking at the black lines here around the side these are the areas where the craton edges are in the dashed line boundaries are key areas to watch these are more likely to experience thinning due to tectonic activity. 
So all these areas you look at strip zones and what what the what is the red? What is the red. All right, so here's the red. The red parts are actually high seismic velocity regions. Red and orange are associated with more stable and older areas of the crust. And if we look at this right now, uh, pretty much Arizona looks like it's one of the stablest places with uh, no drip. Colorado had a few areas around the border area. So if you're in Colorado, those are like the two areas that are the probably most positioning strategically we can look at and we'll go right back here really quick just to see. Uh, so a lot of these blue drips that are falling right now into the mantle, these are the live time reports that we're giving you about the situation. They said that's actively happening right now along East Coast, West Coast in Canada, too. I'm sorry about that. Let's get Canada this and I'm going to give you the warning signs you can look for it right now uh, because we're about to become this network of people. And in the comment section, we'll start saying certain things that we can look at warning signs for. And I've confirmed this data. Uh, so Canada, Toronto, Ottawa, Winnipeg, uh, these are all the areas in Canada. So I'm going to give you right now, how can we uh, listen for these situations here? So I'm going to pull this up. So apparently you can hear certain sounds. So deep magma or crustal movement can emit sub-audible rumbles or skyquakes. Apparently, deep hums, metallic sky sounds, and distant thunder with no storm. So everybody, listen, whatever state you're in, if you're starting to hear this, drop it in the comments. Let us know. We're going to be analyzing this. And what I'm going to do is I got this heat map I can go to, and I can observe different heat maps. If the area starts to get like a little bit heated, we can know exactly what's going on if only in the comments you drop what you're hearing. So that's one way we're going to be looking into this with your help only. Uh, subscribe for more info. Also, what can happen is crustal stress. If you get more sinkholes opening in some areas, we're warm from the soil. You need to be looking for that. Sudden kills in uh, fish and ponds, shifting water table wells, suddenly going dry or overflowing. These are all the situations that you need to be looking for and give that to me because I'm looking at satellite data here. I'll be going to NASA satellite data, which is going to give me all the different areas where I can confirm the details so we can be on top of all this stuff. Now, what else can you do? Uh, so if you yourself, you can listen on the Earthquake Network app. You can go to electromagnetic field detectors, but I'll be doing that as well here myself. So when you give me the information and we're related to each other, we can actually go and find out what is going on here because this is really going to pay us a lot of situation. Now, let's read a little bit more what they say about this. The dripping is concentrated over the Midwest of the United States. They say this. There's no need to worry about the continental hollowing out or dripping, changing the landscape anytime soon. They were saying this about like when they first put this out, but now things have uh, changed a little bit. The researchers are sure that the mantle process driving the dripping can influence how tectonic plates evolve over time, but they're very slow going. What's more, the dripping is expected to eventually stop as the remnants of tectonic plate sinks deeper into the mantle. Influence phase over the creating in, in time, they say. We're going to be the lifetime reporting community on this, though. We're going to be getting a lot more information in. Uh, we'll pull up the model here. Uh, so we're talking about areas that stabilize zones here in China, in North China. They lost their craton a while ago. Their craton is, is actually the foundation low below. You get all this heat starting to come up towards the top of the mantle. Once that starts to happen, you know what happens after that is more of the deformation of the subsurface from the temperatures that are from the blobs below. So Russia's volcano erupting is a huge story into how our land shifts are happening as we speak right now. So our community-based early warning protocol is going to be this. Listen to me closely. Odd sounds, well problems, sinkholes, heat anomalies, animal behavior. That's going to be through me. Uh, and so I'm thinking right now, though, uh, and this is all for awareness. Let's look at what Noah did recently since the whale stopped singing which is an early warning sign. So what they did just a few days ago is they went out and they start tagging the whales. And so now they're like listening to them and they're getting feedback behavior from this whole operation, trying to figure out what could be done to get them back in alignment with the ecosystem. And all this is just for awareness. So we'll be continually updating you with the earth scope data to keep you aware, 
to keep you alert and everything that you can do the usgs microquake clusters nearby is going to be something else that we're going to be looking at because this is going to give us a more alert and readiness as we go through the times that we're going through right now so alert readiness mode get you like anything you can have just have you know prep plans gas uh, tanks family comms everything you need to have just in case uh, as we see this shift happen in the pacific with all these different volcanoes it's definitely going to be playing a factor in this huge shift coming and and one more thing i want to note about this whole map here when you're looking at it we talked about the craton and so you do get on the east coast where there's this drip and you notice something the appalachian anomaly area is kind of is right over there next to the appalachian area on the east coast so this is going to be something we're looking at it's a lifetime map all these red spots are nothing to do with heat and thermal if you're tuning in right now and thinking that no these are the more stable zones but we're going to be looking at our own specific data that's going to be a watch zone so we can get this information to you and i'm so glad that you are here because also the the last warning signal that is going to be put out is going to be something else i'm going to be diving in deep to and I've already looked into it right now, but I have to put just a few pieces together to help you and your family get through this. The last video I put out, I don't think a lot of y'all seen it and it ties big, huge into the story. I don't know why you didn't see it, but I'm going to drop that. You're going to see it on the left hand side of the screen. Also, you're going to see it in the live chat right now as we speak. Watch eruptive hot blobs moving magma Yellowstone shifts. We're covering all the detail that you're not seeing. Subscribe, get the information out.